I bet you can't guess what's going on today. Alrighty, ready, 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 ready. Alright. There's three kinds of wheels on big trucks. This is what they call Dayton's. I really don't like. Then there is Bud Wheels. which are these they've got uh, the stud right here looks like a nut or acts as a nut for the inner duel then you got another nut for the outside duel and then there are I'm trying to think uh, yep this trailer's got them This, these are hub pilot the best buds are second Dayton's are third I'll explain why here real quick but these are the best to have hub pilot and then uh, buds which is it's all my truck and then there's Dayton's. Dayton's are what you see when you're following a uh, trailer or a dump truck. They're held together by pressure. The inside dual runs up against the lip right there at the end of my hammer. Then you got a spacer ring and then you got these wedges. And 90% of the time, mechanics that don't know anything about Dayton's is start here and zip, 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 zip. And that's what makes them wobble. And they are a pain in the butt to get straight. I'll show you when I do it. Put them back on. But basically, I release the brakes. Set you a block right there and spin it. And draw them down evenly a little bit at a time. But the big thing for rookies or novices or people that don't know about Dayton's is when you're taking them off, don't ever take the nuts all the way off. I've seen it happen. And it'll kill somebody or seriously maim them if it gets hit right. These wedges are tapered and they're held in there basically by pressure. And they've done right here what normally happens. The nuts come off and they're still on there because they're held by pressure and rusty whatever. So you take the nuts off make sure you leave them on actually. Grab your hammer give her a couple whacks and you'll see it happen. Maybe that's when it's not going to do it. We'll watch this one. Pop. 
pot. Big time pot. That one's less exciting. So is that one. So is that one. But there's so much pressure behind it. Watched it happen. Didn't know he had the nuts all the way off. Luckily he was standing back here and hitting it. When he hit it, it shot out and went through. I didn't say it went through, but it knocked a hole in a piece of I don't know, it's probably 5 sixteenths plywood that lined the shop wall. If you're standing in the right spot, it would really hurt. Especially if it hits you in the head. So, uh, let's pop all these off and beat that ring off. That ring's always a pain. This one I think I got my money worth out of that tire. Smooth. But, yeah. Let's go uh, deflate them and break them down and mount up the new one.
Set you down here and spit. You guys can chuck me. Probably not the generator. Is it? I didn't think it was too terribly bad. Leave me alone. Quarter inch, half inch. That's not too bad. What else? Make sure your valve stems are in the middle. Some guys like to put the valve stems for both tires across from each other. I really don't like doing that. Because sometimes it's a fight to get to the inside one. So I stagger them off. There's the other one for the inside. Uh, I have had them move. Not tremendously. Three, four inches. I've also had this ring break free from the outside ring. It wipes off, it'll, they'll move and they'll wipe off the valve stem. There's little bumps right here on both sides of the valve stem supposed to protect your valve stem if they do move, you know, six inches or whatever that gap is. I call them old school wheels. These are not the original axles that were underneath this trailer. It probably should have had buds on it. And before I bought it, somebody did something. I don't know. But they put these Dayton's on. But I checked them with a breaker bar and a piece of pipe. I'll carry that breaker bar in the truck and double check them. After every go and stop, there's disadvantages and advantages to both. Disadvantages for Dayton's. They move. I already talked about that. I will probably cut that out. They're a pain in the rear to get to run true. And to do brakes. pull the cap off you have to take the whole hub off and this is these bolts right here between the spokes is what holds the rim to the drum pluses advantages you can do it with a breaker bar half inch breaker bar or a three quarter inch breaker bar or inch whatever you got um, when you're doing brakes you get to check your bearings. That's about the only advantages. Uh, let's see. We'll go over here. Disadvantages. Advantages of bud reveals. Uh, vintage. 
uh, you can run the inside dual up on a block and just take the outside nuts off if you got a flat on the outside. Um, let's see what else. Another advantage. You don't have to do pull the axle or take the hub off to do brakes. Disadvantage. Sometimes these are a pain in the rear. These will come off all right. You'll twist these off because this is a real thin nut, stud, whatever you want to call it. And you'll twist them off. Just the squares off. Then you got to heat it. It's a fun time. Pipe wrench, good times. Um, ba -ba 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 other disadvantage that's the advantage where you don't have to take the hub off to do brakes you never really check your bearings so you don't know how they're doing or how they're handling um, I think that's about it Go over. old man's got to haul another load of hay tomorrow fix the driveway He's on that. I got to put in a driveway to a cornfield, which is right off the state route, which will be exciting. Um, hub pilot. Advantages, disadvantages. Uh, advantage. One set of nuts. You don't have to center the wheel. Throw them up on there and go to town. Disadvantage. You got a jacket. You can't run one, one wheel up on a block or you'll break studs. Um, other disadvantage. When you do brakes, you rarely pull, pull the axle or the hub off. So you don't have a chance to check the bearings. Um, advantage of this. These nuts come off a lot easier than bud wheels. You can carry a wrench, ratchet, breaker bars, whatever to change the tire on these. And that's probably another disadvantage to bud wheels. You have to have two sockets to change them. So, they all got their advantages and disadvantages. Um, my preference is probably hub pilot. Probably hub pilot, then Bud, and then Dayton. Uh, I'm going to clean up tools now. I'm going to see if I got one of those hub oilers in my truck. Because that one's leaking. I think it's got a hole in it. Yeah, I'll just walk over there. Um, tomorrow night, they are calling for rain, so... Question of the day. Do I try to run something tomorrow? This is the right size or not? Um, neighbor called. They're not called. Uh, that was home for the neighbor. That'll work. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. I'll change that out real quick. I'll be back. Well, never mind on that. I don't have any uh, silicone. Got the gasket, but I tried that once. Didn't seal up very well, so. Gasket and some silicone. They'll seal up all right. So I'll get some of that in the morning. Tomorrow. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. Check. Uh, a couple guys tried to run. Almost got stuck. So, we'll see what happens. Call for rain tomorrow night. Ow. Come here. So, we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow. Catch y'all later.